Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make any Divi page element sticky. So this is the final result we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. So before we get started, there's a few things that we're going to need. So first of all, we're going to need the Divi theme. Uh, secondly, we're going to need the sticky menu or anything on scroll plugin. And we're going to be using the accountant blog page layout. And this can be found in our, and this is available in the Divi Builder. Okay, so let's start off by creating a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages, click on add new. You can name this page whatever you want. So I'm just going to name this element sticky. Click on use the Divi Builder. And then we're going to go straight to the visual builder. So since we're using a pre-made layout, we're going, to, we're going to choose this option right here. So I'm going to click on choose pre-made layout. And the layout that we need is the accountant block page. So the, easy, the quickest way to do this is either to narrow these down by clicking on business and then finding the accountant one. Or you can just search for accountant over here on the top. So here is the accountant block page layout. So I'm going to click on it and then click on use this layout. So now that our layout is installed, uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to publish this page and then I'm going to go back and install my plugin. So I'm just going to click here on publish. Okay, so now we have um, our page published and saved. So what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to open uh, the dashboard in a new tab. And then I'm going to install my plugin. So I'm going to come over here to plugins, click on add new. Okay, so here it is. So I'm going to click on install now. And as you can see here, it has 70,000 active in installs and it has a five star rating. So that means this is a very, very good uh, plugin. So now I'm going to click on install now. And then I'm going to activate the plugin. So now that we have this installed, the next stage now is to configure this plugin. So I'm going to come over here to settings. So the first thing we need to do is to add a unique identifier. So I'm just going to call mine sticky. So over here, I'm just going to add uh, sticky as my main identifier. Next over here on the space between the top of the page. First of all, I'm going to set it at 50, 50 pixels and just see how that looks. But this is something that you can go back and adjust depending on how things look on your website. Right, so moving on. So over here, this is where you get to set this option not to use the sticky element if the screen size is smaller than a specific size. So in our case, I'm going to set this to 980 pixels. Right, so now it's time to go into the advanced tab. So I'm going to click here on the advanced settings. So the first option here is I'm going to add my Z index uh, to 99,998. And then the next step here is to add our CSS ID of stop. So I'm going to add it here and then save settings. So now that we have our plugin all set up, it's time now to go to our visual builder and make some adjustments there. So, so I'm going to come over here to pages, click on all pages, and then I'm just going to find the page that I created. So it's right here. Click on view. So I'm going to first start by enabling the visual builder. And then this is the stage now where you need to decide what elements you want to make sticky. So let's say you want to make this email opt-in sticky. So what it means is when I scroll up here like this, this will always stay on the screen. So let's go ahead and do that. So we need to come over here to our row settings, click on advanced. So since this one, uh, this email opt-in is in column two, we need to make sure that your column two CSS ID is set to sticky. So I'm going to come over here to CSS ID and classes, and then I'm going to add my column two CSS ID. Right. So this CSS ID that I've just added here is what we created in the plugin earlier on, if you recall. So this is what's going to make this work. Now, notice that I haven't added the, the hashtag here before the word sticky. So this needs to be added as it is like this. OK, so let's save and test and see if this is working. So for this to, uh, to work, we need to uh, make sure that we save the page and exit the visual builder. So I'm going to click here on exit the visual builder. Now let's test it. So you can see here as I'm scrolling, this is now sticky and it's stuck over here at the top. So that means it's working. So I'll do it one more time. There we go. So the next step now is to stop this element at a specific section, because as you can see, when I scroll down here, it is overlapping pretty much uh, all this information here. And this is not what we need. We wanted to stop at a specific 
uh, place. So in the initial step, we also created a CSS uh, ID. So we are going to use the CSS ID of stop. So let's go ahead and do that. So we want everything to stop when we get to this section right here, okay? Because we want everything to overlap, especially this third car here that we have. Okay, so I'm going to enable the Visual Builder. And then we're going to go into the settings of this section. So I'm going to click here on this gear icon. Advanced. CSS ID and classes. And then over here on the CSS ID, we're going to add the one that we created, which is stop. And then we're going to save. We're going to save the page and then do a quick preview. So we're going to exit the Visual Builder. Right, so let's test this now. There we go. So now it's working. So it's only sticky. And then as soon as it gets to this section, notice that it doesn't remain sticky. So pretty cool. Okay, so the next step now is to make a single module sticky. So let me enable the Visual Builder again. So the module that we're going to work on is this one right here, where we have these social media icons. So we're going to go into the module settings, click on Advanced. CSS ID and classes. And over here on the CSS ID, we're going to add our CSS ID of sticky. So we're going to save this for now. Okay, so the next step now is to go into my row settings and remove that CSS ID that we added earlier. So we're going to come over here to advanced CSS ID and classes. And then I'm going to remove this and save. Okay, so I'm going to save the page and exit the Visual Builder. Great, so now let's test this. So as I'm scrolling, you can see here that it's stuck here at the top. And then because we have the um, stop on this section, it then gets off the screen. But what we need to do now is things are overlapping. So to fix this, we need to open up the section settings and the section containing the social media follow module on sticky element, we need to add the following custom CSS to the main element. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go over here to, to our section. So I'm going to click enable visual builder, click on section settings, advanced custom CSS. And then on the, end, the main element, we need to add our Z index and then click on save. I'm going to save the page. And then over here on this section, I need to go in and remove that CSS ID. So I'm going to come over here to advanced CSS ID and classes, and then we're going to remove this stop and then save. I'm going to save the page. And then I'm going to exit the visual builder. So now this, these social media icons will, should be sticky and will be showing up there throughout the whole page scroll. So let's go ahead and test that. So now you can see here, they're stuck at the top as I'm scrolling pretty cool. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.